What's new this month at Rogers Railroad Junction? Broadway Limited is expanding their Paragon 3 product line with the introduction of ES44 AC diesels. Part of General Electric's Evolution Series, or GEVOs, these 4400 horsepower monsters represent some of the most common motive power to be found on American Class 1 railroads. Available with the latest version of Broadway's revolutionary Rolling Thunder sound system, freestanding wire grab irons, full end and top side detail, a detailed cab, working ditch lights, and even working exhaust smoke are all either included as standard features or available as options. Built to meet the EPA's 2005 Tier 2 emission standards, the GEVO has long since earned its place among the pantheon of history's most successful locomotive designs. Then there's Athern, who's out this month with two new diesel offerings, starting with GP38-2s in their Genesis line. With many first-generation diesels nearing the end of their lives by the 1970s, EMD developed the general purpose Model 38 as a potential replacement, and American railroads liked what they saw. These 16-cylinder non-turbocharged workhorses quickly won the industry over with their high reliability, respectable tractive effort, light-footed performance on rough track, and modular Dash 2 electronic suite. Available either DCC equipped or DCC ready, treaded walkways, all appropriate lift rings, sand lines and grab irons, rooftop detail with antenna arrays, and a precision geared drivetrain with dual flywheels all round out these scale works of art. Moving down the ladder from Genesis, there's Athern's ready to roll line and SD40s. Built with early style fans and appliances, these models represent the first generation of the venerable SD40, the most popular diesel locomotive ever built. First introduced in January of 1966, more than 1,200 would ultimately be built, a number that climbs to well over 5,000 when subsequent variations and updated models are included. Built with all-wheel electrical pickup, precision gearing, flashing beacon lights where applicable, wire handrails, and digital sound. Sticking with the ready-to-roll family, we move on to the first of three boxcar offerings this month, and it's 50-foot combination door cars of the American Car Foundry. Built in the 1960s as a response to industry demands for more versatile cars, Combo door cars feature 8-foot sliding Youngstown doors paired with a plug door of equal width. The resulting floor plan allowed for either greater cargo space or a wider door opening, depending on the needs of the moment. Featuring separately applied ladders, metal wheels, and optimized weighting. Then there's 40-foot modern box cars, also from the ready-to-roll line. Typically found on trains of the post-war era, cars such as these were still in use well into the 1970s. Featuring metal wheels, knuckle couplers, and razor-sharp paint. Moving on to Walther's and their mainline series, another set of 40-foot box cars are available, this time with 6-foot doors. Available in over a dozen road names, these cars hail from the Depression and immediate post-war eras, and were the dominant means of freight hauling throughout the middle of the 20th century. And overall, they pair well with 53-foot piggyback flat cars, also from the Walther's mainline series. Developed from standard flat cars in the 1950s, 
pig flat sparked a revolution on American railroads and ultimately ushered in the modern era of global containerized trade. Although lacking some of the details associated with the more expensive proto line, staff handbrakes and treaded loading ramps augment the feel of realism, as do more typical features such as metal wheels and couplers and optimized weighting. All in all, a value based, ready to run package. And speaking of the Walther's proto line, and containerized traffic too for that matter, both 40 and 53 foot double stack cars are now available. Indicative of the modern Pacific Rim trading sphere, these cars feature die cast bodies for reliable running even when empty. And with separately applied ladders, see through platforms, and prototypical paint schemes, reliability never looked so good. Container loads are sold separately though, so there's that. Moving back to the ready to roll line, we have Pullman standard rib sided covered hoppers. Considered a specialty car when first introduced, these cars have long since become some of the most common sights on American rails, with entire unit trains of them crisscrossing the Great Plains on a daily basis. Then there's Roundhouse, Athern's most affordable line, and 24 foot ore hoppers. Common in the upper Midwest and Great Lakes regions, where iron and taconite mining dominate the industrial landscape, Jaunty little cars such as these serve a vital role in the link between mine and mill. There are abbreviated lengths a function of the incredibly dense loads they carry. Featuring a highly detailed injection molded body with removable load and RP25 metal wheels. Then we have 53 foot lumber flat cars from an all new vendor, Wheels of Time. Commonly associated with the post-war housing boom, entire trains of these cars were a common sight during the 1950s, moving dimensional lumber from the mills of Oregon's Willamette Valley to the growing suburbs of Los Angeles. Available in multiple road names and numbers, wire ladders, optimized weighting, and prototypical riding height all feature prominently. But beyond HO, there's our N-Scale department which boasts several new offerings of its own this month, starting off with a sharp looking rendition of the Napa Valley Wine Train by Microtrains. Yes, one of the nation's most renowned luxury tourist trains is now available in 1 to 160 scale. Available as a box set featuring a locomotive, three coaches, and an open platform observation car for that classic sense of old world style and luxury. And also in N scale, there's 8,000 gallon tank cars from Intermountain. First built in the 1950s, riveted cars such as these were common until the advent of improved welding techniques in the 1970s. Featuring staff handbrakes, safety placards, and razor sharp lettering. So feel free to come on down and check out the fun in any scale at Rogers Railroad Junction today.